As a race, we humans, we always strive to go bigger and bigger. Our cities get bigger, our cars get bigger, our technology gets bigger and bigger. Our phones in our pockets have grown, as has the TVs in our home. We love to have the biggest everything. Even our portions get bigger, which has led to, well, ourselves getting bigger. And one thing us guys love to measure it's the size of our buildings. It's the ultimate show of wealth and opulence. Throughout the 20th century, the US had a de facto monopoly on building the biggest of everything. But this dominance ended in 2010 when the construction was completed of the Burj Khalifa over in Dubai. And for nearly a decade, the Burj stood head and shoulders with no rival to its crown. But looming in the shadows was the Jadaya Tower over in neighboring Saudi Arabia. A tower with a planned height of over a thousand meters dwarfing the 830 of the Burj Khalifa. Now the United Arab Emirates knew they couldn't sit on their hands and let their crown be taken. You see Dubai is one of the most unusual cities in the world. It's a city built not grown, a city that strives to attract as many people as possible and having the tallest building in the world it's a draw. The second tallest well people would barely care. So to keep eyes glued firmly to Dubai, the rulers decided to commission the Dubai Creek Tower. At a cost of nearly a billion dollars, this would be Dubai's answer as it strived to stay number one in the world. In May 2018, the foundations of the tower were completed. However, construction of the tower never really got off the ground. And over a year later, no company was even picked to who would construct the tower. Now, the building of the Creek Tower was expected to be completed in 2022, but as of today, very little has been done on the building work. Now, officially, construction was halted due to COVID and the pandemic. However, no construction had been done in the two years before at this site. And as of the 7th December 2020, the construction had been put on indefinite hold. But why? Well. The Creek Tower was ultimately a response to the Jeddah Tower and the Jeddah Tower has had one hell of a ride. I'd love to go into more in depth so if you'd like to see that please like and leave a comment and let me know. Now a real simplified overview of the Jeddah Tower is that construction didn't start off on the best foot. With soil testing unsure if the ground could even support a building that high. Now construction did start however and it got a lot further than the Creek Tower. It's not hard but this came to an almost grinding halt following what's been called the 2017-19 Saudi Arabian purge where princes, government officials and business people arrested after a crackdown on corruption. Well, it just so happens that the biggest and most prominent figures of the Jatar Tower, the owner of the Kingdom Holding Co, which owns 33% of the tower, and the CEO of the Saudi Bin Laden Group, which owns 17%, and the primary contractor were arrested. Well, work continued for a while. In January 2018, work was halted due to labour issues, and the tower is about one third of the way completed and has sat there since. And what does this have to do with the Creek Tower in Dubai, you might ask? Well, with no real competition for the tallest building in the world, the United Arab Emirates has no incentive to continue construction. So the Creek Tower is the tallest building in the world that may never be built. Hope you liked the video and I'll catch you next time. Good. Bye. Now, the building of the Creek Tower was expected to be expect, I spat as well. Now, the building of the Creek Tower was expected to be complete expected to be completed. Now, the building of the Creek Tower was expected to be completed in 2022. All right. Now, the building of the Creek Tower was expected to be completed, expected to be completed. Okay. I can speak. I can speak English. Now, the building of the Creek Tower was expected to be to... Maybe I can't.